Hello my friends, Operator Starsky here, it's day 821 of the unprovoked Russian invasion of Ukraine and according to the available information from the guys on the ground, the Russian terrorists developed their attack in Kharkiv Oblast. According to the Institute for Study and Warfare, the terrorist forces, uh, which were in the process of concentrating weapons and personnel in this area, were ordered to start this attack prematurely, since Ukraine began receiving substantial military aid and apparently war criminal Putin, wanted by the International Crime Court, didn't really want to lose time. Which is why he preferred to lose men, since Russia, as we know, is fighting until the last Russian. Yesterday, terrorists conducted a missile strike on Kharkiv city targeting only civilian objects. Apparently, 15 missiles were used and a publishing house was destroyed. We know about at least 30 victims. The Institute for Study and Warfare suggests that rather than taking the whole Kharkiv oblast, the Russian terrorists are planning to create a buffer zone. Uh, obviously, this gives them opportunity to concentrate more reserves and eventually develop a second attack when they have enough men to waste. According to my estimates, uh, this can take less than a year, uh, probably around six months, depending on their gains. So what are the gains of the Russian terrorists? Over the past two weeks, the terrorist troops managed to push approximately five miles deep towards Kharkiv and Stary Salty. As we can see from daily reports of the general staff of Ukraine, the Russian terrorists are losing approximately 1,200 men on average, in not just in this direction, but uh, the increased number of casualties can be explained by dynamic combat taking place in these two areas, which add up to the overall Russian losses. But if you want to know the true gains of the Russian army, instead of counting miles, you should count washing machines and toilets. Several days ago in Vovchansk, the Russian terrorists were recorded doing what the Russian terrorists do, which is looting residential areas and taking housewares like this washing machine on this video. You know, in 2014, when Russians invaded Crimea, they positioned themselves as so-called polite people, an image created for them by the Russian propagandists. Nowadays, I think the Russian terrorists have abandoned the idea of positioning their horde as an honorable, uh, well-trained army of men or gentlemen with good intentions, because there's just so much footage showing their atrocities, and generally there are no recorded cases in the history of humankind when the Russian invaders haven't committed unspeakable shit. And speaking of 2014, an interesting obituary was found in the Russian social media. Citizens of the Russian Tashino buried a military spy, Ivan Golub, who got eliminated in Ukraine. In his obituary, it was stated that he operated with the Deep Reconnaissance Company and in 2014 he took part in the operations at Maidan, Ukraine. Once again, before the whole Russian hybrid invasion began, this man, a regular Russian military spy, and probably his team as well, were conducting their operations in Ukraine during the Revolution of Dignity. Now, I want every conspiracist convinced that the Revolution of Dignity was organized by Western spies, Newland, and etc., etc. I want you to make sure to always use condoms because we really don't want your kind to reproduce. In Donetsk Oblast, several anti-air systems were destroyed using the Ukrainian ATACMs. The Russian invaders generously posted a video report of the results of the successful strike. In the US, uh, Antony Blinken, Mike Johnson and numerous other representatives of the Democratic and Republican parties working on allowing Ukraine to strike the terror Russian targets on the terrorist territory using American weaponry. The ongoing debates in the US already provoked a lot of bad hurt in Russia, especially in the Russian social media, because the Russians feel really mad since it turned out uh, that if they strike a foreign country with missiles, apparently they can receive a response, which is something the Russian terrorists are uh, not accustomed to yet. Uh, and the Ukrainian 110th Brigade reports shooting down another Russian Su-25 attack aircraft. 
well done and good health to the dead. With that, my friends, I wish you all a beautiful day. I'm Operator Starsky. As always, be safe.